I would like to briefly touch on pictures. I did download a picture from pixabay.com and I can simply import any given picture by selecting it and dropping into PowerPoint. And for example, resize it to the entire screen. Now you may think that this might get in the way because it's standing above the slide. This is where the picture tools come in. As I was saying before, depending on what you click, some specific options can be applied, like drawing tools, format shapes to this shape. Pictures do have its own options. I can click on this picture and I have picture tools. So I click on the format to reveal the picture tools and I would like you to do the same. You have some remove background options where we could try to remove the background around this owl. We have color correction options. Those are not used very often, but what's used really often is the crop function. And I would like you to master specifically the crop function in this course. In my advanced courses, I do explain everything about pictures. And I'm not saying this just to promote my, so you have to write, run and buy my courses. I just tell you if you will be interested in it and you would like to learn how to professionally remove the background or add overlays on the pictures or really work with every effect there is, how to use picture layouts, which by the way, is not available in one of the Mac versions, but that's on a side note. The most important thing here is to learn the cropping options. By default, you can click on the crop option and you can crop the photograph from its top side. For example, I know the slide ends here, so I'll just crop it. Boom. What's beautiful here is the picture still isn't destroyed. It's just masked to this position. You can still take the picture. You can, for example, resize it. For example, we would like only the eye of the owl to be the main focus. Do you remember? Control scroll back. Like I would like the eye to have on the right side like this. Okay, the picture still covers the entire slide and I would select crop. A, a really beautiful scene which we created with just one picture and we could, for example, add here some text or try to add some elements like shape elements and we would have a beautiful design. What if you want to move the picture? Well, it would be best if you would go to crop and move the picture like this. So trying, you see, the computer is now working slower because he has to resize the picture and to crop it. But we can always, again, make it smaller, make it like this and select OK. Apart from that, if you open here on the bottom the cropping options, you can crop to shape and crop to aspect ratio, which is really wonderful. Why is that? Because sometimes you would like to have strict sizes on your slide and PowerPoint does that for you. Boom, and with one click, I have this size of a picture. So I would put the picture on the left side and I have now the entire right position open for text or anything I would like to add to the slide. We can click on the picture, format. You can go to crop again and you can crop it back. One more thing to remember is cropping to shapes. Let's crop it to an oval. It's now a bit awkward. So how to make this a perfect, perfect circle. As you can remember, in the crop options, we have the aspect ratio, just select a square, one to one, and a perfect circle square appears. I can resize the circle, but you need to remember, in order to make it perfectly equal, you need to press your shift. Do you remember? Shift was making it perfectly from the point you clicked. And if I additionally to my shift press control, I can make it bigger outwards of the middle middle anchor point. Okay, perfect. We have the eye centered, center the picture, crop it, and there you have it. Different ways of editing photos. You might not, not remember now everything we did, but what we did is we did work only with the crop options. And you won't be able to work with the crop options unless you're tested yourself. Please go download any picture from the web. I, for example, can recommend websites like unsplash.com or pixabay.com. 
or liberstock.com, those are websites which allow you to download free photographs with the Creative Commons Zero license, which allows you to use the pictures any way you want in your presentation, even without giving back links. So there you have it. Please open, please import a picture and please try to work with a picture in the cropping options. And this will conclude the most essential and important functions you need to learn in order to start working somewhat well in PowerPoint. Those are the basic functions which I would like you to master.